Festival. Everyone worked really hard on their films, although for many of these, you cannot tell. <laughs> Nonetheless, at the end of the night, the best film will be awarded the grand prize, The Golden Friar. <laughs> made of molten gold. <laughs> and an actual chicken. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want this one, you can choose to accept the golden block of tofu. <laughs> Although, truth is, this is also made of chicken. All right, the first film in our festival is by, oh, Adam Young. Well, I guess we'll watch it anyway. Thanks for the support. Did that sound like support? Huh, really gotta work on my inflection. Here I am, a charming, intelligent, handsome, single professor. Although my best friend says I should occasionally pull my face away from my microscope and look at something other than this corrosive diplococcus, I can't imagine that in my entire life I'll ever see something more beautiful and exquisite. Sorry, I'm late, Professor Adorable. It's pronounced adorable. I'm your new graduate student. Oh, you must be Wanda Mary Adam. <laughs> Why don't you help me catalog these the bacteria? bacteria. <laughs> Just let me fix my hair. Nothing hurts, as long as you're here. Really? Because it seems to be eating through your coat. Can't feel it. All I can feel is the warmth of your presence. The heat, the burning, searing heat of your presence. Uh, I need to take this. Uh, I'll be right back. met anyone like her. She's amazing. I can't believe you wrote a movie just so you could get close to Echo. Kirby, stick to the script. What? Oh, are we rolling? You should ask her out. She'd be lucky to have you. You're a great guy. Funny, charming, and boyishly handsome. Seriously? Do I really have to say this stuff? I know this is a movie, but it should be slightly believable. Would you two quit it with the sappy yammering? I'm trying to relax and have a schwitz. Mrs. Byrne, you're not in this scene. What scene? <laughs> huh? Where is Wanda Mary Adam? I better call and find out. Hello? Wanda? She can't come to the phone right now. She's getting married. I do. And do you, Wanda, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband for as long as you both shall live? No. This is terrible. What am I, a charming, intelligent, handsome, single professor, going to do? <laughs> I just need to stay calm and approach this in a rational manner. Wanda! Wanda! Can we wrap this up? I'm meeting a minister and a rabbi for golf. 
I'm sorry. I can't marry you. He's the one that I want. Professor Adorable! Adorable! I knew we were meant to be together. Could you hold on a second? I do. Great. I now pronounce you husband and wife. No. Wanda Mary Adam. I just got it. Well, I guess that didn't work out. Maybe it will in the sequel. There won't be a sequel. I don't want my wife working in this business. <laughs> Next up, we have a film from Derby. Okay, so everybody put on your 3D glasses. <laughs> Derby. 3D movies are made using special technology. You can't just throw stuff and expect it to seem lifelike. <laughs> well argued. Oh no, they've got hostages. Thanks for coming, Mick Awesome. It's my Mick pleasure. Now bring me up to speed. And don't leave anything out. The smallest detail can mean the difference between life and death. Bad guys have taken over the bank. They got it. And now they're gonna be pissed. Please, let us go. I'm a 30-something mother to be. My husband and I are expecting triplets. <laughs> and this will be their first gift. And tomorrow, I'm supposed to have leg transplant surgery and stand for the first time. Quiet, hostages. Come on, that was a very reasonable request. Soon, I will be in possession of every safety deposit box in the world. And if anyone wants to use one, they'll have to pay me hefty monthly fees, plus a non-refundable key deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery! Here is the Chinese food you asked for as one of your demands. They're still working on the helicopter and the natural-looking toupee. I'm serious about the natural-looking part. They always say you can't tell, but you can tell. <laughs> this Chinese food bag is empty! So is the bag of chances that you'll get out of here. Mick Awesome! I thought I took care of you in Paris. You did. You treated me very nicely. <laughs> the five-star hotel, the fancy meals, the stimulating conversation. For a madman bent on destroying the world, you're a wonderful host. <laughs> but this time, you've gone too far. Take that to the bank. <laughs> Nick Awesome did it! Awesome. The hostages are going home to their families. Thanks, cop on the beat. But I don't do it for the glory. That may be, but the president wants to thank you personally. Mick Awesome, you have won.
once again saved our country from bad guys. <laughs> I shall now bestow upon you this nation's greatest distinction, the Congressional Swedish Style Massage of Honor. <laughs> Wow, Derby, that turned out great. And the way you destroyed part of the school? That was an amazing special effect. Special effect? Yes. <laughs> okay, next movie, Slap. Once upon a time, in a land far away. <laughs> Just looking for the mall. I heard a new big and tall store opened up. Hey, Schlab. Why so blue? Because no one likes me, goat. I like you when you're not mocking me for my ability to grow a beard but not a mustache. That reminds me. <laughs> Ooh, the King's Herald is going to make an announcement. Hear ye, hear ye. I love Bebop. I also bear news from the king. The princess has been kidnapped by an evil dragon. A handsome reward awaits whoever shall save her. Goat! You know what I'm thinking? If you save the princess, she'll marry you and no one will throw rocks at you? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? About to save the princess here. Okay, we're at the dragon's lair. You go in, smite the dragon, and rescue the princess, while I rub against this tree. <laughs> oh, that's good. Help! Help! It's the princess! Won't someone save me? Even someone big, blue, and ugly? Who are you calling? Fair enough. Out of my way, dragon. You dare set foot in my lair. <laughs> that won't slow down the dragon for long. He's a nasty, rotten bully. Yeah, but so are you. What are you calling? Fair enough. There. Okay. Okay. Take her. Oh. Oh. Dragon wedgie. My hero. I will be yours forever. <laughs> and I do mean forever. Come on, people. Now would be a good time to hit me with a rock. <laughs> like you were moved. Now shower me with flowers. Now make me the darling of the club scene. Our next film is called Tater and me. Oh, that's so sweet. Someone made a movie about me. I did. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm standing outside Finnegan High, considered by many to be the worst school in our nation. Let's step through these doors and see if it's as bad as people say. <laughs> According to the school director, this is home ec class. <laughs> Let's have this worker come over here and tell us what she's working on. Do you mind? Sure. <laughs> We're making cheerleader uniforms. For who? These aren't the Pentagon High colors. We don't ask who we're making these for. 
We don't even ask for bathroom breaks. Are you saying Principal Taylor is running a sweatshop? Not on camera, I'm not. Great news. We just got the contract to make underpants for the new Big and Tall store. Use this as your template. Mr. Tater, would you care to comment? <laughs> there have been reports of rats and cockroaches in the cafeteria kitchen. Let's see if these rumors are true. The subtlety of the tarragon. Francois, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> oh, no. Gaston, wait. Just because I like the soup doesn't mean I don't like your salad niçoise. Mr. Tater, would you care to comment on your... <laughs> and to this day, Principal Tater remains in charge of Finnegan High. Oh, thank goodness she didn't show any of the really bad stuff. And now, our final film of the evening is from Dang. You introduced me? Oh! Psst. Roll film. Oh! Could everyone stop screaming and just roll the film? in a game of Go Fish. <laughs> he must now face my vengeance! Should have asked before chopping. Simpleton? Savage wind hands! Vengeance will be mine! Do you not recognize me? Grass, Papa? Master? You cannot beat me. We will see! You're the only one who can freeze in mid-air? <laughs> ha! I tricked you. I'm not really frozen. I'm standing on a chair. <laughs> oh, 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 you can all move. <laughs> <laughs> now to punch you where the sun does not shine. <laughs> This room. <laughs> you should really consider putting in a skylight. Okay, we'll take a short intermission and then be back to announce the winner. Hey, you not wait to watch the credit? Many people work very hard on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fine.
nine films, everyone. You're all winners. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> Only one of you will be a real winner and receive this trophy. The rest of you, losers. <laughs> you can all share this one. <laughs> and now, the golden fryer goes to... Principal Tater for the first annual Finnegan High Film Festival. Are you kidding me? People, people. I did make a movie, see? <laughs> and you're all in it. So many layers. <laughs>